Ciao, everyone. This is Esther. Alfred here. Of you, me, and Sicily. And welcome to our channel. We're two expats living here in Sicily. We come to you every week talking about all things Sicily. And we travel around the island bringing you the beautiful places, people, history, culture, foods, festivals. What else, Alfred? I don't know. I'm just overwhelmed by your abject beauty today. Look how beautiful <laughs> she looks. She looks like a hot tamale. It's hot tamale. We had a great day today. I uh, went to Tarmina for the first time in several months. I think it's been since Christmas because we had a few lockdowns, so we couldn't uh, travel to the provinces. Yeah. But what a great day we had in uh, Tarmina. It was still a little bit empty, but some activity is starting to come back. Lots of Europeans. I heard all types of languages out there. German. Uh, French, Spanish. So it was so nice to see that. So it was a nice visit. The most important thing is that all the empty shops that had gone out of business, they've all been replaced by newer, they almost look like more beautiful shops. There's a lot of nice shops uh, uh, in Talmina for the summer. Now all we have to do is get s sufficient people up there to, you know, to, to frequent them. Uh, but the uh, Talmina Film Festival was was it last finished, week? Yeah, finished, just finished last, week. last week. And if you looked at some of the photos that Esther posted on her Facebook, uh, they had these beautiful things hanging almost the entire length of Corso Umberto. It was really like elegant. It, really it, it was, was elegant. glimmer. It was very glimmery. I also put it on our You, Me, and Sicily Facebook. It was so very, very elegant. It was very yeah. elegant. So we, uh, we actually did something a little bit different. We usually go to the Porta Catania park in the main um, parking and then walk through Porta Catania is the uh, gate facing Catania. There's also the Porta Messina, which is on the other side facing Messina. But today we did a little bit different. We took the Lumbi, Alfred, something we haven't done in, in many years, but it was a great idea. Well, here's what the story is. Next week I'm getting rid of my car. I have a 1999 automobile. It's been running great. There's nothing wrong with it. See, nothing goes gets rusted over here. And the thing runs terrific. But, you know, 1999, come on. <laughs> so I upgraded, okay, into a car that's a 2004. But it's a Nissan SUV that my pal who put it to back together yet, he said, this car's going to run like a, spin like a top. So he's delivering it next week. So, but to get to Talmini, you know, it's a huge hill. Mm -hmm. It's like a corkscrew. You go, and then you go straight up. <laughs> Not and for the faint of heart. It was 100 degrees on the highway today because it's very hot here. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to take the chance of blowing up, you know, blowing a thermometer, I mean, a thermostat or something. So we parked low and we went into the other parking facility where you park. And then they, you get on a bus. It's not, not like a shuttle bus, right? Yeah. But wait a second. That parking lot, too, it was so curvy to get in there. But even yeah, if but it, it was wasn't easy. your car, Alfred, it's a great idea to leave your car down below, take the Funavia up, or take the Lumbi, because getting up to all the way to Tarmina is such a pain in the butt. Uh, probably easier also to just get on the bus, get out there, and it drops us right there at the Porta Messina. We got Messina. out of town quicker and it was, than we normally and, do. And, and, right. And yeah. also, yeah, because the bus took us straight down, and uh, then we just paid the ticket. And the bus, by the way, from the Lumbi is free. All you do is pay for the parking. How but much it was parking cost? Nine. Nine euro. We were Shit. there like an hour and a half, two hours. But it was It, it was, was worth nice. nine euro, and it that includes worth. the bus transportation, yeah. obviously. It was so ten totally bucks. Well, worth it. You know, I remember when I used to go to federal court in Boston or even uh, Suffolk Superior Court, the parking back then for an hour and a half at the government center parking lot was be yeah. 46 yeah. dollars. So in any case, dollars. so we walked, so we walked along the Cortomberto and uh, we went to the uh, Piazza April 9th uh, and the beautiful view of the Ionian Sea and the Church of San Giuseppe. It was absolutely beautiful. And you know that if you've been to Tarmina, you know that that area in front of uh, the church where there is the Piazza April 9th overlooking the sea, usually there's one million people lined up trying to take a picture of Etna or Jardin yeah. Naxos or the sea. And I remember going and trying to like, wait to get a spot you didn't have to wait which was um you know it was nice but we wish there were um, more people hey al do you know why it's called the uh, piazza april 9th why because there was a mass held 
down the road from there on April 9th, 1860, when it was announced around town that Garibaldi, who unified Italy, landed in Marsala. So it was a huge, huge thing, and that's why it's Piazza April 9th. I need to write that one down, baby. <laughs> That was Listen, good. we talked. That, talk, that was good research. We, we covered all of that in our episode on, called Tarmina many uh, years ago. I just went and we watched <sighs> that to remind myself of all I'm, the, uh, the I'm kind video. of admiring myself today with my new, new hat, hat that I got in Tarmina. Do you like it? Very nice. And Esther picked it out. I had I had a choice between this one yeah. and the other one, I believe, was a gray one. Right? But the important thing about this one, cost a little bit more than your usual hats, but guess what? Made in Italy, and it's made 100% of paper. And you look smashing, smashing I'm a if I smashing guy. I'll tell you the truth, though. I didn't believe it that this was made in Italy. But, but it does say it. There's a thing over there, it's true. right there, made in Italy. And at first you're like, what, 25 euro? He's like, I was like, dude, 25 euro for dude. paper hat? But these things, guys are, like, I have dude, some that have lasted me five years. They look just as good today. Yeah, as the I guy's did. like, if you want made of Italy, you got to pay a little bit more. You want to know something that's worth it? And when it's I go back it. there the next time, Bun, I'm going to buy the, the gray different one. Color. Yeah, yeah, the gray one, too. Uh, you were talking about different stores. I saw two in particular. There's a new candy store there. Yeah, uh, I new, saw that right? one, too. You walk in, and it's like all types of candy, gummy bears, chocolate, like big barrels yeah. of candy. And the other interesting new shop was the Spider-Man shop. I saw that. It wasn't just Spider-Man. It was all the superhero shop. All a superhero shop. And yeah. then there was another place to buy scents. Yeah. You know, like smells. Uh they have one huge place to buy all sorts of aftershave, perfumes, and stuff. That's always been there. Honey. And no, I know that, but right across the right across the corso from them was another one. So if you walk about twenty five yards, about twenty five yards, you're just going like this. Yeah, you smell all so the different good. cells because the, the sales clerks are spraying them. It's so, so funny. And then the other uh, fun thing we did, and that we always do when we go to Tarmina, we either have uh, dinner or lunch at one of our favorite restaurants down there. Or we go to get a granita at Bambar, which is the best. And I would venture to say one of the best on the island. Uh, they make real granita, and it's really cool because every time you go there, you see the barrels of fresh fruit right in front of the counter. So you know that the granita that they have there is fresh. They, I think they had like 25 flavors of granita, but not all, all of them at the same time because what they do is they do seasonal fruit. In the hot, 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 hot weather like this, I like, uh, as my basic go-to thing, uh, lemon we need to. I find a yeah. lemon, you know. Refreshing. Of, yeah, refreshing. And today I had my lemon, and I we had them put a new flavor that they had. They've always had raspberry. Raspberry. But it, I think it was more of a raspberry sorbetto than it was. A, well, the, the way they make it there is a little bit different. But they've it was a little some... bit creamier than I expected. The, the lemon granita was, of course, granita. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It was terrific. It was, they it was they also great. had the pistachio, the almond, and everything. But it was just nice to sit there, enjoy, watch the people. It was a nice little break. Then we got back on the bus down to the Lumbi. Bada bing, bada boom, and we were home. You know, right next to Bamba, this is like Elfrid's little secret gem of a place. Mm -hmm. After you've been to uh, Sicily for like 10 days and you just kind of jones in for something, like a hot dog or something like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's a hot dog place <laughs> right next to Bamba that... On the way to it. On Was the way it? to it? Yeah. yeah, it's just like literally five steps away. The has killer hot dogs, and what they do is they wrap the hot dogs in uh, what they call pasta, which is a dough, bread dough, and then they bake it, right? Good, huh? I almost stopped there today, but but I didn't. But uh, it's I told some people, but hey, you want a hot dog? Want a good hot dog? And tell me, you know, go to this place, and they've always like. Whoa, the place, that thing was rocked. It was good. Um, you know, Alfred, I was really surprised to see Etna very quiet, Today, suspiciously yeah. quiet. But guess what? Yesterday, last night, the 44th eruption since February 16th, and it was a strong one, you guys. It was so strong that the mayor of Catania 
ordered uh, the speed limit to be reduced in Catania for the next 48 hours to like 30 kilometers an hour because it gets slippery and they need time to clean it up. Um, so, and the airport was closed for a few hours. So that yeah. that's a real so this issue. This more south than it normally Yeah, does. it covered Catania. It was, again, on the southeast crater of Catania, but, uh, of um, Etna, but as you know, Alfred, it blow, you know, whichever way the wind blows. So I, I'll be honest with you. I'm thinking when I travel, it be she better not erupt when I travel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Don't she better not it. erupt when but I travel. Here's what the pain in the butt is becoming, all right? All these communities that are around Mount Etna mm -hmm. now have critical backup of this grid from Etna, kind of like, I don't want to say dust, it's more like a heavy duty grid on all the public spaces, okay? And they can't afford to pick it up. They have no money yeah. for police, I mean, overtime and this and that, a way to put it. So, Muzumeci, the governor, she loves this guy, Muzumeci. To me, I'm, I'm think, not, I'm I not, he's kind of like a lightweight. Sweetie, by, lightweight, let me right? just correct you. I'm not no. a big fan. No, okay. I'm not. To me, I think he's a lightweight, but he can't get in, he got a million euro back in February to clean up. Guess what? A million euro probably got eaten up in like two weeks. So now yeah. he's got to go back to Rome because Rome is the ones that call the shots. And, you know, to get money out of Rome, to get money from the, from the government up there is like next to impossible. So today when we were driving, in, even through Jade, okay, because we took the shore road up and we wanted a nice little hour just to chill out a little bit before we started to fry. Did you see how much stuff was in the piazza at the, yeah. at the, at the Duomo there? Yeah. It was crazy. That's a lot, a lot of love. Yeah. Hi, John. Good morning. Okay. So let's say hello uh, to everyone. Um, Kat hey, hey, Katarina Bada is here. Where? Right here. Katya, how are uh, you feeling? Yeah, she's going to, she's due in like a month. It's a Maria month? Maria Warren. Carolyn is here from California. Anthony Nova. Hey, Giovanni is here. Nice to see him. Peter Scipoletti. Want to say hello to some people out I wanted to just... Why don't you say hello to some people first? And then Atlantic then. Graphic and uh, Web Design. I talked to that that gal. She's nice. And Maria is here. Uh, Dennis Fasoni. Who else? Jody is going to be here September the 13th. I even know when you're coming, Jody. Uh, Tony says, Ciao tutti. Enjoyed a nail-biting uh, game yes. yesterday with Italy advancing. So it's four. It's really 5-3, to three, but it's five, 4 two. Five two three, but it's four two with one two. They had the, right, the right, penalty, right. so one one. So depending on how you count it, it's four two and then one one penalty kick or five two three. But I have to tell you guys, at midnight when the game was over, boom, fireworks everywhere. Both our neighbors are screaming. Then I tuned on um, some news and Rome was exploding. Palermo, they were partying. Catania, Catania they were partying. Woohoo! You know, here's, this, here's what the difference is between uh, the national team here and the American national team. Here, it's almost like everybody is in unison with their love for the national teams, whether it's the basketball team, the Olympic team, of course, the soccer team, right? And the, literally the whole country comes to a screeching halt. Yeah. The bars have it all, you know, have it. Every bar is just jammed with people. And I don't even think they're spending any money. They're just watching the game or they're home or they're home. And then when they score a goal or they win, you could literally hear it miles around. It's unbelievable. It is just an amazing phenomenon to witness. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy to be here when these things happen. Um, Manny wants to know if the paper hats hold up in wet weather. Yeah, yeah. They just, it's it's not like paper, like a newspaper, okay? It's it's a recycled type of a paper that's tightly woven. The Italians came up with it, so you know it's got to be good. Believe me, it's stylish. Yeah. I'm very telling you, stylish. Manny, I, was, I just said a Wait, little while ago. I want to show the whole thing. It looks good. I have hats that I bought over five years ago, okay, because I check out hats. I have real good hats, but in the summertime, I don't like to wear a real good hat because when, when, I, when I sweat, you know, on the inside, you have the sweat ring. Yeah. I don't like that. 
So I bought these, but these things don't make my, my head sweat. So good. And they'll good. last, they'll last for several years. If, if you take care of them, I take care of my hats. I have them, you know, when I, I don't just throw them, I have them nice. You, and, you walk into the bedroom and it's like a museum of hats. Yeah, <laughs> my like, sister does like the hat. same thing. If I love that. you're good to a hat, it's going to be good to you. Hey, my before, grandfather used to say that. Before, and same thing with shoes, right? Same thing with shoes. Uh, before we go on, I just want to say, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you get notified when we upload a video because I'm getting ready to upload one on Santo Stefano de Camasta. So that's you, me, and Sicily on YouTube. And welcome to all the Facebook people who are joining us Hi, uh, guys. now too. Uh, thanks to your generosity, we've been able to upgrade and simulcast on YouTube and on Facebook. So wherever you're watching, thank you very much. And the other thing is, for if you want to uh, support our channel in some ways, $1.99 a month, just a way to support us. Of course, we're going to keep uploading the videos. We're going to keep doing all the free stuff, but it's just a small way, a cup of coffee uh, to support us. You know, we have over 300 hours of free programming that we've streamed the last six years to over 1.3 million people just on our own channel. Forget about the TV stations that have covered us. Yeah. Forget about Facebook, okay? We know that tons of people, tons, tens of tons, tens of tons, tens of tons, that's tens of idea. tons of people who could not be able to get here, yeah. watch our stuff because we get bazillions of emails all the time thanking us, okay? So what we need is we don't need financial assistance to live per se. However, we made a rule a long time ago for every nickel that we get for the Sicilian project, we push it out to people. Okay, completely yeah. transparent for that. You mean you, me, and Sicily? And no, no, for and, the Sicilian project. Okay. And for us, on you, me, and Sicily, what we do is when we get like donations to GoFundMe or with this right like, one ninety nine thing, it goes right back into the business because we've been very concerned during Etna, during Etna's eruptions, of having you know problem with the communications and so yeah. forth. So we bought. This new, uh, what do you call it? Uh, software. Software. We then upgraded on the software, and we haven't had any problems yet. Yeah. Now we're talking about getting secondary things like a TV station. Has. And it's also. And that's what that money goes and for. And it's they only to improve your experience, right? right? That's, that's what it is. Only to right. improve your experience. You know, I was so excited. I went to Santo Stefano de Camasta last week and I used some of the new stuff. So I'm very excited to put this video together. But I want to address this. Silvio, our friend from Achitetza. Es Esther, um, sorry you just mentioned Galabadi, but for the authentic Sicilian, it's still painful hurt. You know that history is written by the winner and the two Sicily kingdom lost. Let me address that. Is, that, my, is that my, my man, Silvio? Yeah. I let want me, to address that after, after you. Okay. Me. okay. So let me tell you that it, this is a very interesting topic that we've been talking about taking it because after the unifications, many say uh, that that began um, the demise of Sicily and because if there was the unification, so a lot of the money, a lot of the power went up to Rome. Uh, also, it was done on the backs of Sicilians, a lot of Sicilians, right? The, uh, there's a, a museum out in uh, Suggesta uh, that has some of the you know, remains and, and the hundred people, the hundred Sicilians that fought uh, for Garibaldi. Thousand. Thousand, the excuse red me, shirts. the red shirts, thank you. <clears throat> and Silvio, trust me, what you're saying, really, really resonates with me, and I agree. Now, can I respond? Yes, yeah, of course you Silvio, can. Silvio, I agree with you, cento per cento. I'm going to yeah. tell you why, okay? Because Sicily, the, the people, mm -hmm. they got zero out of it. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, yes. from 1861, and then it wasn't 30 years later, they said, the hell with it, basta, and they left, mm -hmm. okay? All it did was repre replace one oppressive regime with another oppressive regime in my my opinion now there are uh, of course in the north they don't think that way because the north primarily is left hyper left or communist okay that that's the reality of the situation garibaldi what was he a communist okay Did you know that well, he was, no he was he was not a, he, he was he was way left okay and 
that's what the real story was. But Silvio is correct. History is it's written written. by the victors. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's move on because there's Good a lot. Point, we can, Good now, point, Silvio. Good point. I'm sure we've got to disagree with that. Uh, it must be great this year to not have the massive summer tourists crowded traveling around Sissy. I'm glad. I'm a tad jealous, but I'll be there next year in the fall, which is harvest time and my favorite time to travel. <clears throat> Want to um, answer that? Yes. Go ahead. Oh, you. I said, you want to answer that? No. <clears throat> no, I don't. No. I wish there were people here. You know why? Because a lot of my friends are so broke they can't pay attention. Yeah. Okay. You have no idea. I mean, they have, let me give you a for instance, okay? This was front page of both the Catania newspaper and a Palermo newspaper yesterday, that a luxury five-star villa hotel is opening up in the greater Palermo area. It's going to create 100 jobs. Yeah. Well, that sounds great. Did you see that? Yeah. 100 jobs. Average pay for these 100 jobs is 35 euro per day. That's $40 a day. Times five days is $200 a week. Times seven days is $280 a week. How in the heck, check that, how in the hell is a man expected to support his family if he's a family man on 35 euro a week while some big Mega corporation who knows every trick in the book, including how to get government loans and tax layoffs and yeah. this and that, is not really benefiting. So you want to know something? I feel bad for my friends who are broke right now, and I can't wait for this I damn agree. thing to get over so you guys can come back yeah. and help us out financially over here. For sure. There's a big yeah. need. I agree with you 100%. Um, listen, you guys. We have so many people on our chats. I can't say hello to everyone. So if we, if I missed you guys, I'm sorry. But I did. I can't find this uh, comment. But someone had asked about uh, the virus situation here in Sicily and in Italy. It is improving. However, in the past few days, past few weeks, unfortunately, Sicily has been first in Italy for new cases. The deaths, the number of victims. Um, few days zero, a few days one, two, three, four, still way too many uh, in my opinion. Unfortunately, also because of the summer, uh, the vaccinations have slowed down. So because a lot of people are on vacation, they go to the beach, they don't want to go be standing around in line at some of these hubs. Um, so what Uzumeci, who's the uh, regional president of Sicily, is doing. He's trying to try to go to the Lido's, which are the beach uh, front areas, and and do vaccinations there. Now, the other interesting, I want to tell you guys that in Palermo they have this great thing going on that just started. It's called the. Um, the vaccine tour, and what they're trying to do is go to remote areas of Palermo, people, you know, up in the hills and mountains that perhaps can't get into, um, can't get to the um, uh, vaccine areas. They're trying to go either, even go to homes and vaccinate people. So it's a great, great uh, effort, but it is slowing down. So that's the virus situation. And in Italy also slowing down, there are some regions that, you know, they're, they're a little bit of worry, but, uh, it's going okay. Now, I want to address, just Wait, you go ahead, that? and yeah. then we, go ahead. It's just like the states. There's also institutional resistance by some, yes. by a substantial proportion who don't want to get it, okay? Like the states. I bet you the percentage is almost the same. If, you have a, if you've been vaccinated, okay, even with the Delta variant, your chances are way, 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 way better than... If you don't, if you aren't vaccinated. Now, who's getting smoked? Almost the entire African continent is getting smoked right now. Yeah. Okay. Because they don't have it. India has been getting smoked. Yeah. And other places. Okay. Well, let's but, just talk about Italy. Yeah, now. Okay. Just talking about Italy. Italy is doing good. I think we had 28 million or something like that who've been 
received vaccination? Yeah, over over that, who have received double the doses. And yeah. I and so, I so we're about getting that. close to herd mentality, okay? Because we're we're a few months away. We're, but we're still, but we're a lot better than we were. For sure, that's for sure. Uh, Tom wants to know. Speaking of hats, did it make women's? Yes. In fact, I spoke about this hat. It's a paper hat that I've also bought in Tarmina. Look how cute it is. And I like this because it covers my face. So it, and this is, I've had this for two years, Tom. So that's a good one. There was one other question. Manny wanted to know, um, when is our GoFundMe gonna resume? Because apparently it says it's paused. Manny, I'm gonna check that out and I'm gonna put a link to our GoFundMe um, at the end of the show on the description note or also under the comments. So and thank you, Manny, and thank you everyone. We just had a, a number of nice, um, uh, donations to our GoFundMe, think, and that's in the. Me, I think that's that there a, are more than one GoFundMe. No, no, no. Many has been. Many has been a, a regular, a, a regular okay. supporter. So um, we'll correct the link. we uh, I don't know if the link, but I will go check that out immediately after the show. Uh, listen, Silvio. He's a Bacronita, guys. If you allow me, I'll show you places where they're test the best. My favorite is Eden Bar. I want to tell you something. My friend yeah. Silvio, I like, I love this guy Silvio. Yeah. He he owns a beautiful little place down over here. I guess you would call it a B and B. Yeah. What does he have? Four four places. A few. I think he's um, he's also remodeling some. Yeah. Okay, but he has four over here ready to go. We checked them out this week. The most expensive one we we saw was sixty five or sixty eight euro a night. Come on, are you kidding me? Where can you find a place? On a beach, on a in Achitreza for seventy euro a night. Hello. And he has access to the beach, and there's also a boat there and a beautiful terrace overlooking the Ionian Sea. If you folks, sea. if you folks are coming into town, okay, he has got what I call the you, me, and Sicily seal of approval. <laughs> Certainly, right. and and right. they, I love this guy. He's they a work good hard, guy. and the whole family. You know, he it's speaks a English. The dot, but listen, this is the important thing right. is that this is a family business. Let's, right. you know, this is the wife, the, wife, is the, uh, the gal that's going to medical school, his yeah. oldest daughter is and in he's medical an school, and he's a lawyer. He's an attorney. Plus, he writes English beautifully, <laughs> so you can communicate with him. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. He's right on a, what do you call it? He could scroll, find him, find his okay. name. Okay. Anthony says, coming at the end of September, how's the weather? Let me tell Perfect. you that we, well, in September, yeah, right now we're having a little bit of heat. In fact, in Palermo, there's supposed to be 40 degrees, which is over 100 sub-Saharan uh, weather. Sub-Saharan is supposed to be hot, hot, hot in this Palermo. This is coming from Africa. This is Manny. Manny, I'm going to post that. Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Can I say one more yep. thing? Okay. How do you beat the summer heat? That's the big question. Well, obviously to stay hydrated. Like today, we drank a lot of water. And we had granita, but you have to be a shade walker. Okay. Right? Yeah. You have to walk in the shade. Yeah. Why yeah, you you're said right. okay. Nothing. You said okay to what? No. You were gonna interrupt me, weren't you? You wanted to interrupt me. No, we already talked about okay. this already. <laughs> Joe says self catering in Syracuse seven days in Piazza Santa Lucia, eight hundred and fifty pounds. That's lots of money, three weeks wages in Cardiff. Wow. Joe's coming. Okay. Um, we've got Fred here. Happy belated birthday to our good friend, Fred. Uh, Manny just said disregard the earlier text about go I'm back up and running. Awesome. And oh, thank perfect. you, Thanks, Manny, Manny, for all Appreciate it. of your support. Maria says, why doesn't Sicily capitalize on its tourism and agribusiness? Where's the stagnation? I mean, the island is gorgeous. It has much potential... Uh, wait. Odds are even. Even. Odds. Thank you. I won. See, that's what we're doing now. <laughs> we're both want to talk about. Corruption. It's simple than that. Only 25% of all the land is privately held in Sicily. The other 75% is held either by places like the church or big agro businesses. So there's only 25% of land that can be exploited by private citizens, you and I, to buy places, okay? Number one. Number two, the unions have a stranglehold, a stranglehold uh, on uh, not only Sicily, but Italy in terms of wages to be paid 
and rights. As a result, nobody, or less than nobody, is willing to hire people in this economy unless you're highly talented without a, uh, with the written contract. The written contract is what you need. So as a result, you've got people who are paying pathetic wages, seven euro, eight euro, nine euro an hour, well, for 90 days worth of work because they can't get contract jobs. Well, it, and to be quite honest with you, it's not like a set time. Uh, one of my friends is up there in Milan right now and she's in the uh, tourism industry. And one of the people that she works with at the hotel has to go, um, her mother is ill and she's leaving for a week. She has to fill in and guess what? She said she's not getting more money. So fill in, it, for, what? Fill in for her part, her colleague who's gonna be gone. So she's gonna be working double the time and not getting any money because she's under contract and they can't, they, you know. Yeah, they don't pay overtime. They don't yeah, pay overtime. Don't pay now, overtime. I'm I'm going to say something different about it. And I'm going to steal one of your lines, Alfred Zappala, that uh, Sicily is like the Mona Lisa, except they keep it in a closet. They do not do a very good uh, job um, advertising, getting the word out there about Sicily. So, you know, the, the province, I mean, excuse me, the region um, does some work. There's, there is some kind of campaigns. I mean, their Visit Sicily uh, YouTube page or website Site. They have that. Their YouTube page has practically no followers. Also, their Facebook. And this is the official visit Sicily. So, in my opinion, they can do a better job um, advertising. You've got Malta, who I would venture to say is no competition for Sicily, but their uh, tourists in past years have um, outdone them. And you know who told me this too, also, is your friend um, in Giardini Naxos, who Roberto. said, Roberto said, he, you know, so he said they have much more money for marketing. So that's my opinion. Now, Let me give you the best example I possibly could, okay? Okay. For many years, as you, so some of you folks know, I, I had a big import company importing stuff from Italy, Sicily, bringing in into the United States. And the big shows to market our stuff in the United States were the fancy food show. Fancy food shows were located in New York, Chicago, and San Francisco. And then that's where all, all mm -hmm. the big people who buy stuff, grocery stores and specialty shops, that's where they go to get their orders, okay? So the regional government of Italy gave tens of millions of dollars to companies to come to these shows. They'd give them 3000 bucks pay the mm -hmm. airfare, and nobody could speak English. They would provide for a big, long row of booths, maybe 50 booths, maybe two interpreters, okay, mm -hmm. who had lack product knowledge. Whereas on the, the next aisle would be the Dutch who speak fluent English, or the Germans who speak fluent English, That's or the perfect. French who would speak fluent English. And you have the Italians there, with the best products, that's what I mean by the Mona Lisa, and they can't sell it because they had nobody that could sell it. Yeah, nobody could sell it. Okay, this is a big, big, big problem. Even on the in the uh, European food shows like the Seabus show in Germany and these other big shows, Bobalo, Nandy, they don't speak anything, and these guys not are not fluent. They're not, they're not fluent. They're not, they're not fluent. fluent. Uh, well, some of the big ones Katya are. Katya is great. Katya worked with you yeah. for many yeah, years. Her English is great. Aren't. A lot of them are not like Katya. Is there a way to promote a GoFundMe? I've started for my study visa. My consulate is suddenly requiring thousands more in prepaid tuition, leaving me in a lurch for October. My consulate is Oops. suddenly requiring thousands more. Not only are they doing that to you, they're doing that to many people by upping the requirements to put in the bank. We just had another one last week where yeah. uh, to get a resident visa, they've, and some of the consulates have even upped the minimum requirement for you to have over there. Something is going on in the Ministry of Interior that's putting political pressure on that stuff. Uh, I don't know what the story is, but it's, it's going to be very tough to get a loan from the states, I'm assuming, 
if you're going to come here to try to study. And certainly it's almost impossible to get a loan here for education. So yeah. I'll say a prayer for you tonight. Yeah. I hope you could. Send us the link for the GoFundMe and we'll try to help you out. That's all. Uh, Joe Mazza says, are, are either of you dual citizens? Both. Alfred is has been a dual citizen for how many 20 years 20 years about yeah. 20 years and i've had uh i've been a dual for six years i believe well wait a minute she's well, been she's been a european a citizen. european hungary i'm a hungarian she's born, born in, in budapest so she's so been have, a eu citizen for her whole life and she became an american citizen when when you were 13. Yes. Oh, yeah when yes. she was 13. So. Um, okay, let me see here. Uh, Helen had a question, and let me see if I can find it. Helen, you had a question. Oh, here we go. Helen, I'm looking at your area for 2023, March, April 30th. Do you have a website that recommend at Look for Rentals? Helen, why don't you message me, and uh, we will help you with that for Subido, sure. Subido dot, S -U -B -I -T -O dot IT is a good place to start. Yes. Okay. Also, Facebook Marketplace in Sicily is another one. They have an icon called Rentals there, but Subido.it, there's no middlemen. Like a lot of realtors in, say, the EU hustle listings, okay, and they mark it up, whereas Subido has the actual yeah. people here who are looking for places, you know, landlords, et cetera, over here who are trying to rent them out. Um, might be a good marketing tool and way to raise money, Al. Business restaurants, <laughs> lodgings approved by UMSs. Tony, actually, we've we've talked about that about doing um, some top five or top ten uh, restaurants and things like that. Uh, listen to you what you get in trouble that way. You get in yeah. trouble that way because you know I've got many friends in the restaurant business. I'll give you a quick example, okay? I have maybe fifty, Ching -ching. 50 friends. In well, the between the two 50, of us, yeah, right, around 50. the. Island. 50, right. 50, 50 restaurant pals of ours. So we pick one. What's going to happen to the other 49? Yeah. That okay. was what we were thinking we, about we were, that. We were thinking about that. Like, I mean, the only one that I said, okay, the best freaking Crispellis uh, in Sicily are at uh, Extra Extra on Main Street in Via Grande because they Valverde. are. Valverde. Valverde. Excuse me. Yeah. Extra Extra uh, Crispellis. That's the name of the company. Yeah. They're the best, okay? Period. I've tried them. I've tried them from here to, you know, Timbuktu and back. Uh, Silvio, listen, I know about the one in Achireale. Yeah, Forgot you about the front, that. Yeah. No, the one in Achireale, you're right about that over there by the Belvedere. That's a good one, too. Yes, said, both of them are good. Both, they're all, uh, yeah, in they're this all area, too. they're all Eden Bar is the best, I believe, in, in my opinion. Although the one next door to Eden Bar is good, too. It's the one the Sole. What's the name of that place? Yeah, the one uh, Katya likes to go. I can't remember. Yeah, There's, there are two of them door to door that are good. Okay, Katya, I think two Sicily could be use a good marketing campaign. I frequent or use Ireland often, and it's yeah. so tourist friendly and easy to go there. Yeah, that's right. Why okay. Ask what I'm drinking. Hmm? What are you drinking? I'm drinking the most delicious, delectable, yummy, thirst, thirst quenching, hot weather drink you possibly can, and it's alcohol free. It's perfect. Okay. This is a secret that was passed down to me from I don't know who, but all it is, seriously, and I'm not kidding you, is this Schweppes or any type of tonic water. This is Schweppes Zero and a handful, a good handful of fresh mint and ice. Yeah. Believe me. In the hot weather, it's the best thing to drink. You can throw vodka in there if you want, but you don't need to have any alcohol in a hot day. It hits you. Okay. All right, Paul, send me the GoFundMe, uh, and I'll try and help you guys out. Thank okay. You. How was the process of purchasing per uh, property in Sicily? I'm assuming you used your Italian passport and documents. Want me to answer that? Yeah. Okay. Well, we didn't purchase property. so I bought property. Oh, yeah, before. Right. Right, I did. I bought two properties and I sold them. It's generally a pain in the ass, okay? Uh, if you are buying property, you need to hire a lawyer to represent your interest, okay? The lawyer, because as a buyer, you have a right to pick the notario, the notary, to do the transaction. It's your yeah. decision. If you let the seller pick that 
notario, it may not work to your benefit at all. Okay, so there are a lot of documents that have to be negotiated, and but you can get it done if you have lawyers that know what they're doing. That's the problem. Now, here in the United States, we do them all the time. Massimo, my, my partner Massimo and I do them all the time because we've been doing them for 20 years, okay? And usually we have to pick up the pieces on a deals where this buyer blindly accepted whatever advice he was taken from from the seller. And we had to kind of like undo some of the deals, so to speak, and start again and, and, and do them the correct way. But it's not too bad in there. The prices in Sicily do not go up and down, up and down like they do in the United States. They're typically stable here. And the reason is, is because most of the Sicilian people own their property. It's generationally owned. A Sicilian yeah. would rather eat dirt, in my view, yes. than sell his property. He wants to pass it down to his kids and the grandkids right. and so forth. Because once you pay off the mortgage and there is no property tax here, you can literally live on peanuts in Sicily. That's why you've got other small taxes to pay, but you don't have property taxes to pay here. So um, get a lawyer. Thomas Catone. Hi, Tom. Tom is a member. By the way, you'll see a lot of people with the little S. With uh, They are members. Oh, They're yes. part of our uh, members. Work. No, we've always had that because when you join our uh, community, our members only community, you get a little badge, uh, Sicily lover. Um, so Thomas, yes, there's always festival and off the top of my head, I cannot remember what festivals, but I know for sure. And I'm thinking that up there in the province of Palermo, the uh, Puccini mushroom ones are gonna be around September, but it, I'll message you or send me an email or message me on Facebook and I'll, Look that up because I can't remember off the top Casa of the head. Buono has the one for the Puccini, but and I, it's right. That's in the province of uh, Palermo, right. but it, around that time, that's exactly the one I that was you thinking about, about okay. for sure. But September starts, and then you know we have October, but also you know all, and all the time. And if you think about uh, festas, every single town has a patron saint. So whenever <laughs> patron saint. Uh, a day is they have um, some type of a festival and usually it's a month leading up to the festival, right? So for instance, let's take, for example, uh, the festival of San Alfio, Philadelphia from your ancestral town of Tre Castagni, which is uh, May 9th and 10th. Well, guess what? A month before they're already gearing up. There's some types of celebrations. Uh, they start putting stuff out on the streets. Uh, they start practicing the procession. Same thing with um, uh, San Agatha on February 3rd and 4th. A month before, they're t carrying around the candelore, um, the big, big, big uh, candles practicing for the main event. So there's something for everyone. But Thomas, if you just message me, I would love to help you. Let me say something else in September and October this year, okay, is good if you're a sports fan. Now we have the World Cup qualifiers starting. As soon as the Euro Cup is over, which is going to be in a few weeks, right? In September starts the uh, World Cup qualifying matches, and Italy has got four of them. So believe me, the singing and the camaraderie yeah. and the fun, uh, just going into a big city or even a small city, pizzeria. Yeah. Uh, when the game, when the qualifying matches are on, will be a lot of fun for visitors coming Listen, to Sicily. For semifinals, yeah. my friend Trent was in downtown Catania uh, at the Teatro Massimo. You know, there's a the yeah, beautiful yeah. square there, and he went live a couple of times, and it was packed with people. There were big screens set out. That is a smart, smart thing. The big screens were set up. Uh, to watch the game, and people filled the plaza. They were eating, drinking, and then he went live when they wanted it, and everyone's standing up and cheering. So it is such a beautiful scene to see here. Um, Alfred, Soccer. are you dual citizen by descent? Yes. Yes, I am. By blood. That's what you're talking about. Yes, I am. Why don't I you am. talk a little bit about that? Both my grandfathers were born in um, the Kastani, and when they came to the United States, they never became uh, American citizens, which means that they never renounced their Italian citizenships. So when my dad was born and also when my mother was born, they were 
Italian citizens. I use my father's line, the Zappola line, because my mom was born before 1948, and under the, the laws, if your mother, if the you you can't use that unless you want to sue. I didn't want to do that. Whereas my father simply gifted the citizenship. It passed through him to me. And when I got it, my daughter Katie, by the way, was, a, was still a minor. She's 35 to 36 now, but she was under 18 then. And she gained, she got to be an Italian, a dual citizen as well. Yeah. So what are the benefits? Well, for us, the benefits are a lot. Uh, we live here, which means that we can travel and live in any one of the 27 uh, EU states. Had I paid into the Italian pension system for the last 20 years, I did not because I was working and I still work to a degree, I would be eligible for uh, a pension here. But since I don't, I'm not. I am, however, uh, like every Italian citizen, I have my medical card and Esther also has her, yeah. which entitles us to um, medical treatment uh, and et cetera at hospitals for almost nothing, although there are private hospitals here, and there also is private health insurance available to supplement yeah. your thing. So if you want to go, for example, to a clinic, a heart clinic, or- Different levels. Different levels of, of, of stuff. I yeah. had that first, right? For, I yeah, think I have yeah. 400 euro it's, um, a year. I don't think, you know, some people want to become Italian citizens but they want to do it, you know, for, I don't want to say an ego thing, but I kind of want to say an ego thing. They have no intention of living here. Well, well first of all, you I think the I mean, majority I, of the people that want to get is it makes them proud. It's something, you know, they have a descent. For me, it was very important to get my Hungarian passport, even though it had yeah, expired, yeah. because I'm proud to be Hungarian. I obviously have my American passport, but I wanted to have that. I think it's it's partially also that, hey, I'm, I'm Italian descent, and I want to have this piece of paper. Or the other big thing that I believe, and I'd like to know from you guys, why you would want to get your uh, Italian is because people want to live here. They genuinely love the lifestyle here and they want to live That's here. That's the problem, okay? Let me explain to you what the okay. institutional resistance is so you understand, okay? Especially from the Northerners, okay? Their view is, because you have to understand, to understand the Northern mentality or the Sasan mentality requires you to get out of your own comfort zone in the way you think. Okay, mm -hmm. and you have to think completely differently than the average Italian or Sicilian thinks. It's taken me 20 years to understand this, but really, what their view is, and that's a, I'm going to talk. This is a substantial minority. Okay, of them feel why does the Americans, which are very rich, want to become Italian citizens and take advantage of our health care system, which we're going to have to subsidize? You understand what I'm saying? which has some truth to it, okay? So somebody comes here, becomes a citizen, mm -hmm. and by operation of law, if they live here, you have to live here, you're not gonna get it just because you got your, dual, your, your passport in the United States. You have to declare residency here, and you have to live here before you can get your test of the sanitaria, okay? Yeah. And it's free, okay? And in my case, I, been here for 20 years, I paid into the Italian system myself in the form of taxes, but guess what? I don't, you know, if there's something wrong with me, like I had a couple of stents put in my heart, that procedure was done in the United States. It wasn't done here. I have Medicare in the United States, and I have my test of the sanitary here. With all due respect, Val, yeah. I think that type of mentality also exists in the United States, and I don't want to get political. And I I'm not like, getting political. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that type of mentality exists all over the world. With all due respect, it exists. There are many Sicilians. The majority of the Sicilians are always like, we welcome the Americans. Come, spend your money. Uh, come here. So That's a different story. But wait a second. As so a let tourist, me finish. As no, a tourist. I'm sorry. Okay. That's not true. That's okay. not true. Okay. In fact, I was talking 
talking to two people down at the President Park Hotel when I was uh, down there we were saying we need more American investments. Why aren't they coming and more of them living here? So I would respectfully disagree and ask for that we That's move on. That's a different on, story. That we move on. Wait a minute. I'd I don't like want to move, move on. on. I don't want to move on, okay? Because now you like, you know, you I want to move on. I First of all, if you disagree. have cash money, if you have cash money, and you want to invest between 350 and half a million euro here, they're going to grant you a permanent visa. And guess what? That's a good thing. Now, why is that a good thing, Esther? Because you're contributing to the Italian economy. You're doing a good thing for citizen. You may yeah. even be creating the necessary five or 15 jobs, whatever it exactly. is. Exactly. Okay. On the other side of the story, okay, you have peanuts in your bank account in the United States, peanuts. And the reason you're coming here is because you want to jump on the social bandwagon of free medical. Okay. To me, I can understand how they feel. Okay. So now we can move on. Now we can move on because that's, yeah, I think you but missed. But that's not I think you met, I, No, I think you missed my point. I'm going to move on. Okay. Uh, Bridget, nice to see you here. Bridget is from Sheffield, Indiana. She was the sponsor of that ancestral home video. She says, "Is it's shocking that a rich American Sicilian business person hasn't tapped into the potential to get Sicily in on the map as a big money maker in all it has to offer. It's sitting there waiting for a smart American investor. They don't trust the Americans. And the other thing is organized crime. And the other thing is corruption. And the other thing is bureaucratic red tape. There are many impediments because those who have the power right now, those who are making, the making money right now in Sicily do not want to give it up to foreigners and to outsiders. Now, you know who is making headway here, Esther? Who? The Chinese, because they're like a tidal well, wave. Well, that's everywhere. They're yeah. like, that's no, everywhere. can I finish everywhere. my sentence? Thanks. But that's everywhere. We're having they're a like discussion. A, they're, they're, like, <laughs> they're, they're, like, they're like with this uh, silk road that they're doing. They are, they are buying up whole sectors of the economy, okay? And they're coming into Europe generally, okay? Italy also, and they're buying up whole sectors of the economy. Milan, hello. Of course, Maria. You know? Yeah. All right. Is the it demographics are changing. Okay. So, Maria, so I would venture to say, Alan, this is why I, I completely disagree with you with that other topic. Okay. Uh, is it worth, if you want to live there part time, three months? Of course, it's worth it. Six and months, I think yes. three months, six months. And I would say, with the exceptions of some of our friends who are, you know, like Jody, like, um, like Jim Ingram, like Anthony, who want to just completely switch. Uh, lives and move here. Most of the people offered want their their passport, their dual citizenship, because they want to stay longer than three months. So you could stay six months a year on a I don't visa. Know, who wants to go back and you forth? You could, Esther. Okay, I mean, you're not, that's the law. You could come here for ninety days, leave the Schengen uh, uh, countries for ninety days, and come back. You can come here for six months a year if you want to come here on a visa. Apply for a visa. Yeah. There are bazillion types of visas, all right? It's taken, and there's the wait right now in the United States to get a dual passport, a citizenship passport, is a minimum of two to three years, maybe even longer. Yeah, people, okay? people may want So that. you're 78 years old, you want to become a dual citizen, right? That means by the time you uh, get your paperwork through and approved, you're going to be 82. Tell me about the quality of life in Sicily and Italy specifically when you're 82 years old, especially the health system. All right. So not yeah. that there's anything wrong with an 82 year old person. Don't get me wrong. But if you're a young person, OK, full of piss and vinegar, as they say, and you want to contribute to something, by all means, come. We need young. Perfect. Luck. We need young mm -hmm. thinkers. We need American out of the box thinkers is what we need. Ocean Sunset. So let me just tell you, why is in Malta? Sunset. Let That's me finish, please. Name. Excuse me. Did you just interrupt? I was commenting on his Thank name. you. Uh, so let me just say to you that I wasn't saying that Malta doesn't have a lot to offer. Of course, it has a lot to offer. Alfred's law partner is Mal is from Malta. I'm dying to go to Malta. I have friends in Malta, and I know there's a lot of cultural similarities, including the weather, language, and food, etc. But you said it's 
you know, overdeveloped and small. Sicily is just bigger and, in my opinion, has more to offer. Did not mean to I say. I disagree with Esther. I did not mean now to I'm say. Now I'm going to talk. I disagree okay. with you. Okay. Let me tell you something about Malta. It blows Sicily away. Why? Esther, why don't you research the economy I, of, of, of Malta? Oh, yes, Number of one, course. Of okay, course it does. You can go down any street in Malta practically clean as a whistle. I agree with that. You can go to any hotel, incredible service. The food is great. And I, here's the most important I agree thing. With you. The Maltese have money to spend. So right. don't go comparing Italy, excuse me, Sicily to Malta. Sweetie you pie. cannot. Sweetie it's pie. a different of course DNA. They and they have sense. English Alfred. And it's only, Al, it's Zappala, only, it's only a Zito, few miles away. It's only Zito, few, few, I wasn't a good, I don't disagree with you. Well, that fellow thought you were. I No, he thought it was a bad advertisement for Malta. Dude, I agree with you. Chill Malta's out. Malta's awesome. Malta's Chill awesome. Out. The people um, are awesome. Anthony and want, wants, to, uh, wants Anthony. to retire here. Uh, Anthony, how old are you? Well, look at Alex. The Spelly is here. Nice hey. to see from Andover. Anthony, how old are you? Anthony Terranova. Just send me a message. I want to know how old you are. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Bridget is laughing. Nice to see our friend. Um, okay. Uh, Sylvia says, exactly, Chinese are eagerly spreading here, but they have been for years. Don't pay any taxes. Meanwhile, Italian rascal government squeezes Italian entrepreneurs with lemon. It's yes, got me mad. Exactly yeah, right. It's a big problem. Anthony is 50. Is Anthony the one that wants to get? I think it. I think it. No, no, no. Or I don't know. Else? I'm not. 50 is a good age to come here, Anthony. There are a lot of, are you going to, are you going to want to work or do you want to retire here? There are great deals available. Okay, there are terrific hotels. Exactly. There, you have to have the cash. But I want to tell you something. If you come here with your bank book, without someone cutting down the grass in front of you, for like and dealing with the authorities, you're going to be in for a long, long slog. Okay, because this is all about an introduction type of society. Okay, mm -hmm. you have to know people who know people, so to speak. That's the reality of it, period, okay? I don't care what she says because she lives in Fra Fra land, okay? Dude. she does. I'm a businessman. I've been <laughs> here for 20 years slogging through the crapola over here, and I understand what the business is about. It's not, you cannot come to Sicily and open up a pizzeria. There's a bazillion things that you have to go through first. The rep tape will choke you like a horse. Yeah, if you're going to so come you need here. To have Handheld, professional handholding. And if you pull it off, if you pull it off, like look at stuff. Why do you think Subway pulled out or one of those big uh, sub sandwich shops? Okay. They couldn't stand the, they couldn't take the heat. They, were, yeah. they, they opened up down by Sigonella. They couldn't take the bureaucratic heat. They had to move out. It's crazy. I'm going to say three things, if you don't sure. mind. I do not interrupt. First of all, Maria says, I, I don't think any. I don't think I any. Nice I day. don't think anyone. I took a little bit of an offense that you saying that I'm in La La Land after living here after a few years. La La Excuse Land me. is L.A. Is L.A. Yeah, La La I took Land. a little La bit of La offense Land. because I've lived here and I've complained to you about things and I've said that there's a lot of bureaucracy. It's very little. So I took a little bit of offense, just okay, so you know. You, I'll tell you what. Um, let me finish. Offense. Maria Saldi says, I don't think anyone is clamoring to Sicily for its stellar medical care. I don't either. I don't either. And the third thing I want to say about Malta is Europeans. Yeah, I, I, I was. What I wanted to say also about Malta is I'm not. You know, when you look at Malta, of course it's cleaner. They speak better English. There's more uh, business there. Their you know, hotels are higher rated. There's no trash on the ground. There's no F X Y and Z that we know are problems here. But when you look at the size and scope, Alfred of Sicily and what it has to offer, I'm saw uh, with all due respect. In every single part, don't interrupt me. Are you me. getting huffy? Are you getting huffy? Yes, I am because I took a little bit of offense to you. And when you look at it at the sheer numbers and things, yes, Malta has more. Wait to, a minute. And I'm still going to say one more thing. I have a good friend. I'm taking offense to this too. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Come on, I'm busting and your chops today. We had a good day. You today. know, well, be careful. Jesus you, you're about you're about yeah. ready to affect. And I want to tell how you guys that. Are in and I want to tell how you guys. I, I'm going to finish. How my, many I'm going to finish my sentence. I'm going to finish. I have a very good friend in Malta, who, by the way, I did a tour with in 2017 for her big 50th birthday, and she came with 30 women, uh, Malta business women. Um, that were great and they stayed for a few days and she comes back every year. She's like, I love Malta. I work in Malta. Malta is where I make my money, but Sicily is where I want to um, uh, vacation. I, There's nothing like it. Can I ask you a couple no. questions, please? No. Uh, let me ask you a question. Nope. I'm done. Uh, you want to know something? Paul She's said, afraid to get into an intellectual stop. discussion with me because I will tap dance around her and that's what the story is. And now she's pulling this little, no, 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 no. Come on. How many people are in Sicily? Five and a half million. How many mayors are in Sicily? Now a, here, thousand, a thousand. A thousand. A <laughs> thousand. There are 200 mayors for five and a half million people. Guess what? How many people there's the problem. <laughs> there's, there's a parliament. Guess what? Too many you have too many, in, too many generals and no Indians. Uh, Esther, it is so that's the problem when you open your eyes when you open Chow your eyes perfect. then guess what Francesco's it all here. clicks together dude and you can get out of la la land dude if you're, not you're you talking get like la this la and now hey listen Basta. you're talking like this and i'm talking like this so on the oh replay you're gonna say so right. much work to francesco do with <laughs> here's our neighbor <laughs> ciao salute a tutti Ciao, Francesco, our neighbor. Uh, Listen, Alfred and I, Alfred time, and I. race against time to <laughs> and let her see the light. Oh, Lord, please. I beg you, Lord. So I, I beg you, Lord. So if you guys let her see the light. So I. Um, I don't know if you guys are new, Ren. This is this is the way we are. This you is know, the way we are. Listen, you guys. Uh, in case you're new on our YouTube, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and make sure you share this with there you a go. friend. Vincenza, huh? I agree with Vincenza. Sinner blood, come on over. Exactly. We need. That. All right. On that note, we'll be on again live on Sunday. Stay tuned for another fun We're gonna discussion. We're going to have a pay per view next week where I'm going to have boxing gloves on. And that's just going to have boxing gloves on. And we're going to go one round for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you another video of <laughs> you, me, and Cicely. Hit the like yeah. and also subscribe to our channel. Love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Ciao. All in good fun.